Hi everyone, I'm Doug from Now TV, and I'm joined here today by England cricket legend and taker of some of the best catches I've ever seen in my life, Paul Collingwood. <laughs> He's here to talk to us about the upcoming ICC World 2020 and a huge year for the England cricket team, about which I'm sure you're very excited. So, without further ado, uh, ICC World 2020 coming up. Without sitting on the fence, if you can, who's going to win it? Oh, I would like to say England, of yes, course. Um, we've all got to say England, but I think the team to beat is, is definitely going to be India. Um, obviously playing in the home conditions, knowing the pitches so well, and the crowd over there. For the mm. T20 World Cup, the crowd are going to be absolutely manic over there. Yeah. Um, they're going to be a, a, the team to beat. Um, whoever beats them, I think, will win the World Cup. Hopefully. That'll be England. Mm -hmm. I think they have got the um, a good chance to do it. I think they've got the players on the side to do it. Yeah, so you said England have got a good chance, because yeah, I went on record and said I think England are going to win it. But that was before the end of the South Africa tour that kind of tailed off a little. What do you think that was down to? Did that long tour or is that thing to be concerned about? Yeah, it was a long tour, but that's, um, you know, that's no excuses. Um, there was a fine line between um, a couple of those results as well, you know, mm -hmm. a drop catch here and there or um, you know, Topley not taking the bales off in one of the matches. Chris so, Morris. so it's um, yeah. I mean, it's fine lines sometimes. But I think look at the bigger picture. The way that England have played the the white ball cricket over the the past year mm. since um, the last One Day World Cup. I think has has been very exciting as an England cricketer. And, and to see the the new youngsters coming through and playing the way that they have played, um, I think it really is uh, an exciting time for English cricket. And, well, you've won the World 2020 yourself before. Um, and any, what does it take to win? What extra, what those little special ingredients that you really need? You've got to go for it. Um, you know, there's no point in being conservative. Mm. And, um, and that's why I'm just hoping that these last few games haven't got them into the mentality of, of being conservative. And um, certainly from a coach's point of view, when we get out there, we're going to keep driving the players to, um, to keep going for it, be aggressive. Um, and... If you play in that manner, then I think they'll give themselves a chance. When you won in 2010, was there a particular moment where you thought, we're, we're going to win this, or when you really believe that this is, this is our time? Well, we, we scraped through the, the kind of group stages. Um, we scraped through those. But once, once we got on, on a run um, in the latter, latter half of the tournament, it, it honestly felt like a juggernaut. It felt as though we, nobody was going to stop us. And... Um, you know, everybody knew the role in the side, and everybody performed the role in the side. And um, the game's completely changed mm. since since then. I know it's only been six years, but the game has just gone to a different level altogether. Well, I was going to ask you about that. So, do you think it's do you think it's slightly too heavily weighted in favour of batsmen? Would you enjoy playing in this era, with bowling or batting? Well, I wouldn't enjoy um, bowling <laughs> in this era. Certainly not. No, it's um, it's just the way bats batsmen have. Um, have grown and, and developed in the skill level. If, if you think about it, we started playing T20 cricket um, 11, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. So now you've got all these youngsters who watch T20 cricket mm. at a very young age who've been practicing all these shots yeah. from when they were youngsters mm. who are coming into international cricket now. And that's a huge difference. It's only like these, this modern time type of 2020 player. Who, who are your best players in the world right now, do you think? Who you had to rank top three or four? Well, the guys who have taken the game to the next level, um, probably in the last 14 months, in one day cricket and T20 cricket, is, is AB de Villiers, yeah. and Glenn Maxwell from Australia, you know, David Warner mm -hmm. at times. As, as for England, it's a huge year, 2016, test series against Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and then a big tour of India. What do you think is possible for them by the end of the year? World number one, or is it... Small yeah, steps. Could, could be small steps. I think um, the way that we've seen this side develop in, in all forms of the game is it's very exciting. We've got a, a good young group of um, players that are coming through. The very talented, skillful players that are, are still developing mentally. I guess the problem is Pakistan always have good seamers themselves. Always. always. Yeah. Um, so they will put the English batsmen under pressure. Um, so I think it's going to be a good year. And then you've got the, the completely different... Um, conditions in India um, probably one of the hardest tours that you can go on mm. to win a test series and, and a one day series out in India so um, hopefully by that time we've had a good couple of series the confidence is very high mm. hit India um, 
with a big smile on our faces yeah. and, um, and, and go and give it a good crack over there because it, it is a very tough two with that one. Well, good luck to England with that. Um, our final question, which is a very important one because we want to see uh, your World Eleven for 2020. Ooh. Now, Nick Knight and Nasser Hussain, we saw, did a video of this and it was about six wicket keepers in there and about three bowlers. <laughs> well, so yeah. balance is key. Balance is key. I'm always a big believer that um, you've got to have the, the best um, bowlers. Mm -hmm. So I would start off with Malinga, yeah. um, who I think is the best yeah. death bowler. And I would then probably go to um, a spinner mm -hmm. who, in my time, was the most difficult to play against, Mira Litherin. Yeah. Turning the ball both mm -hmm. ways. Um, and, you know, when batsmen are going at, after mm -hmm. someone, if you don't know which way it's turned, it's impossible. It's impossible, <laughs> yeah. I think Jadeja yes. is a very underrated bowler as well mm -hmm. for India. Obviously, left arm. Orthodox bowler and can turn it a long way as well. Mm -hmm. um, Stark, yes, left, left arm, arm seamer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all know the stats on left arm seamers in T20 form of the game. They, yeah. You know, and in the back back end of an innings, they uh, they're pretty crucial. Mm -hmm. and, uh, go for a lot less runs and take a lot more wickets than yes, which is right handy. arm seamers. Yeah. <laughs> um, Your keeper. Well, and, well, I was going to say, if, um, I would probably play a Falconer as well. As a Falconer as well. Yeah. Death Baller as yeah, well. Death Baller, Slow Ball, and um, can give it a, a whack mm. um, later on the order. So, I um, mean, Keeper would be, this is probably going to upset a lot of Indians, okay. um, but I'm going to go Joss Butler over Dhoni. Okay, it's um, controversial, but yes, we like that. Controversial. Um, I've just got the whole Indian world is going, what? Yes. What are you thinking about? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think he could... Um, he could do that role in, in yeah. the middle order, and we all know what a fantastic um, batsman he, he mm. is. Um, but the middle order would be. Oh, well, good luck. Let's go. Let's go to the very top of the innings. We're going to have to go to um, Chris Gale. Have to go Chris Gale. Yeah. And Brendan McCullum. Yeah. I mean, two very Actually, explosive yeah. players up there. Two men outside the circle in the first six. Good luck bowlers. Yes. Yeah. That's all I'll say. And if they get out, mm -hmm. which you probably wouldn't, but if they get out, then you've got, oh, we'll have Vera Coley, who walks to the crease. Yeah, not bad. And then we'll have A.B. de Villiers. Again, not bad. And then we'd probably go Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell, a little off-spin as well. So yeah, oh. so, so there, I think that's awesome. pretty much the team. Yeah, I think um, that's pretty difficult to be. Uh, if you're coming up against that team, Good luck. Yeah, you've got no chance, basically. Okay, well, that's, that's it. That's all we had. And we didn't even mention Kevin Peterson once until just then. Um, but, <laughs> sorry. Uh, just a reminder that you can watch the ICC World 2020 on Now TV with the Sky Sports Day, Week, or Month Pass. Thank you. Goodbye.